Hey guys, how's it going? It's Troy D and we're back with another segment of Troy D Tries. And today we're going to talk about one of the most like celebrated or mundane uh, perfumes out there, which is called Nawab of Oud. Nawab of Oud. Now, as you guys know, my top blind buy of last year was Montabaco Intensivo from the same Four Corners collection. And I want to first and foremost thank everybody that literally bought it and are telling me that they had a really explosive time that it really blew them away because that's exactly my experience mind you i am not getting uh, paid to do these reviews i'm not getting free bottles maybe at some point that will happen but no i am paying for all of these bottles out of my own pocket so i'm not just going to review whatever and be okay with it so um, i want to thank everybody that we're happy about montabaco now uh I've always been tempted to buy Ormond Man, but he, here's the thing, guys. When you have an expanding collection, you know, such as this, right? Um, what happens is that certain perfumes like really do the job for you, okay? So, like for example, if when it comes to like rose, you know, there's like Portrait of a Lady right here. You know, there's a uh, Rose de Araby right here. Which is, by the way, it's like the 24 karat gold one. Just this is the gold right there. It's pretty cool. See that? See all the gold splash around? There's Rose de Araby. And then there's like Ardent. You know? And like, I'm just one guy. So there's no way, like, humanly possible that I can finish this in an instant. This will really last me a long, long, long time. Okay? And at the same token, when a certain like perfume does the job for you like it's really hard to buy another one that's kind of similar so you know i mean you've got your your scent of peace right here let me just move this out and then there's like a ventus and then there's like a ventus cologne and then there's like elysium put put that right there there's elysium right there and it's like do i need hatchivat hell no i don't care if hatchivat supposedly performs better than this no i don't because again it'll be a long ass time before i finish literally all this for like it's just almost impossible for me to do that so this is just giving you guys an idea of why i started this series or why um a little bit of my buying psychology uh, for you guys um, and this is why I came out with you know this um, kind of series so anyway sorry for messing up uh, the front right here but anyways so today we're gonna talk about Nawab of Oud and um, here's what happens guys again when you've got like some of the similar perfumes and they kind of do the job for you you know the only thing left for you is to explore okay it's just to explore check new things out get samples you know the crazier the better and uh, Nawab of Oud um, this one is um, from uh, Scent Split, I believe. It's like they, they sell decants. And uh, to me, this was quite small. It was like a 1 ml uh, little thing. It's like a dipper, you know, it had a dipper stick. It's not a spray. So I was kind of like, I eh, uh, should have gotten like a 2 ml somewhere else. But uh, this is the Intensivo. So let me tell you guys, like probably like two, three drops of this. And it was pretty nuclear. Now, uh, what made me curious about uh, Nawab of Oud? A Nawab, if you guys don't know, is basically an old royalty for, or old ruler from India. Okay? It's a ruler of India. And uh, the Oud on the words Nawab of Oud really is not Middle Eastern Oud. It's Indian Oud. Okay? So, if you are thinking of buying this, don't think that you can just add this to your Oud list like Sahara Oud or... Uh, oud Noir Intense. No, 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 no. This is like an Indian Oud um, for a Nawab, okay? For a Nawab, which is like a ruler back in the day in India, okay? Now, what's this about? It opens with a lot of green, a lot of orange, a lot of citrusy notes. Opens with that, but that ain't it. The thing that makes it a, like, without a shadow of a doubt, 
fragrance for an Indian ruler is the florals. So there's a there's a rose that's from this one here. <coughs> 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 that is like a rose petal you know if you've if you've tried like roses like smelling fresh roses imagine like a dark rose petal that's what it is that's the rose that's in the wab of oud like a dark rose petal that is in no way shape or form the same as portrait of a lady rose the araby and this one right here ardent and the reason is is because it also you also get hit with other florals such as and this one i really i mean i i've grown up in a tropical country so orchids orchids guys orchids that one comes with it a lot of magnolia orchids and dark rose and the thing i can think of right okay is that I don't know if you've seen like coming to America, but remember that scene where he was like uh, taking a bath. He was in like a pool or like a jacuzzi with like, I don't know, half naked uh, subjects that were like cleaning him or something like that. And you remember there were like lotus flowers, orchids. There were all these like flowers in the water. Well, this right here is where you come out of that water. So basically it's like if you bathed in all those flowers in the water and you stood up and you wore like a royal nawab robe that's it it's an explosion of these floral like absolutely floral uh combinations uh they say it's a complex blend but if you're if you've ever smelled orchids and magnolia just on their own you've lived in a tropical country before um, this is not too complex, not not for me, but it really like shows that kind of like that royal scent, okay? And then it you know it ends up with like some vetiver. Uh, the oud is quite light, you know. Just it's just like a background uh, supporting artist here, um, but it comes out with like some some more vetiver and some other green stuff. But the floral is gonna hit you. And since this is the intensivo, like I said, three or four drops of this was like nuclear. Okay. Now I will say this. Positives of this is when the air catches it. When when the air hits your skin or if you go to like a windy uh, location or just, you know, let's say there was a lot of air and it, it aerates your skin. Um, it's amazing, I would say. It's amazing. The florals really like get out there and it's uh very pleasing very royal um but not in like the middle eastern sense um no this is really like seriously it, it, this is very um i can imagine being a nawab you know like wearing this stuff now will troy d buy a whole bottle of nawab of oud is this worthy of that for me the problem i see here is that I have absolutely no use for this. I have absolutely no use for Nawab of Oud. Um, I don't think that this is going to be appealing to the people around me, or at least my circle. Um, certainly not my millennial wife. <laughs> who probably will not like this. Um, I would say that, A, this is for a girl. A woman should be wearing this, not men. Okay, This is for a woman. And um, I think that if you are uh, an Indian man and you're going to like a wedding, uh, I don't know if you guys remember uh, my friend, the doc from the Arabian Oud video, he's headed to a wedding right now in Mumbai. He should be wearing this. I should have told him, you know, I'm too late, but I should have told him to wear this uh, Nawab of Oud. I should have just sent this to him. Um, and this is something that he would probably wear in a, in a traditional Indian uh, wedding Um this would make him smell amazing okay because traditionally this is like the scent of the old rulers of their time and um i guess if you're also like a mature man um you've seen me on my videos i'm not that old and uh maybe 40 plus or maybe uh i mean mature 
Likes to go to social family events. Uh, this one would be perfect for you, I think. But like I said, for me, just specifically for me, my age and my type of lifestyle, um, it's kind of hard to put a place uh, in my collection for this. Finally, another um, reason to buy this is if you want to try a well-blended scent that is very unique, that doesn't smell like anything else. If you're on exploration mode and uh, you end up liking this, uh, then yeah, sure, buy it. Because I would say that this one does not smell like anything right here. Just right here on this table right here. None of it. Even the roses do not smell like this. Because like I told you guys, the uh, magnolia, the, um, the, the, the dark rose, the orchids, um, cardamom, uh, they all create this highly floral. Like I said, Eddie Murphy coming to America, walking right out of the lotus bath that kind of smell that is basically Ormond Jane Nawab of Oud so that's it guys it's another episode of Troy D tries I've got a lot more stuff to try because I'm on exploration mode but we've got other videos where I showcase a lot of the solid uh, choices in my collection and again I appreciate you guys when you're telling me you're buying it because I said so man I love that because like I said I, mean, I, I truly understand that this Ha uh, hobby can be kind of expensive and so as much as possible I don't want to just be a yes man and say everything I try is good so there's a reason why you've got the bottles and you've got these little things right here uh, because I want to make sure before I even spend any of my hard-earned money on this okay so again thanks for watching guys and uh, if you want to have any comments below uh, good or bad whatever uh, just write it below and I'll get to it. I'll try to answer it, okay? Uh, but until then, thank you guys. Subscribe right here. Please subscribe. And uh, we'll get you more videos, guys. I appreciate it. Peace.